Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for tuning in today. I thought today we'd do another what sold video. I have some really good recent solds and I wanted to share that with you guys. But first, for those of you that might not know me, my name is Ashley and I am a part-time Amazon and eBay reseller. I do this all from home while I am home with my boys who are ages five and seven. And it's the perfect part-time job for me because I make a full-time income from a part-time schedule. So I like sharing my process with all of you guys in case there's anyone else out there who wants to also replicate this process and work for themselves. My primary method of finding items that I sell in my eBay store and Amazon are from thrift stores, garage sales, yard sales, and the Goodwill outlet. Just to give a very brief overview, I have a lot of videos giving more background. I will link them in the description and also tag them here. So yeah, that's just a brief intro into my story. But without further ado, let's dive into what has sold for me recently. I sold this Eileen Fisher high-low sleeveless linen dress. It's always important to look at the fabric content because linen for me sells a little bit better than other materials. Sometimes linen and cashmere tend to do a little bit better. I have to make mention that a lot of these things sold while I was having my extended handling time. What I did for extended handling was I just changed every item in my store because it's hard to do extended handling when you have shipping templates in eBay. So I just went ahead, I selected everything, I extended my handling time by five days, I raised the shipping to $8 because I have things that shipping is $10, $6, so I just kind of met in the middle and anything that sold within this time frame sold for $8 shipping. So if you see that a lot in my screenshots here, that's why I just wanted to kind of give you guys a heads up. Now that I'm back from vacation, I have lowered my price down to what it is usually. My normal handling time is one business day. So instead of five business days, it's back to one. It's nice to extend your handling time if you don't wanna put your store in just straight up vacation mode. So that's what I opted to do this time. I still had sales trickle in even though I was out of town and I was able to just ship it all when I got back. So the risk there is that sometimes buyers can get a little annoyed so you have to message them and let them know, hey, I am out of town. As soon as I get back, I will ship, but it won't be a ding or a defect on your eBay seller account. Okay, back to this dress. This sold for $30 plus $8 shipping. It was just a few dollars at the thrift store. Eileen Fisher does okay for me. I wouldn't say it does as well as it used to a few years ago, but it does relatively well. So if I can pick it up for a few dollars, I definitely grab it. And turning a few dollars into 38 is always a win for me. This Free People hat I actually bought at a yard sale for $3 over the summer, so a while ago. And that's why I took this offer of $20 plus $8 shipping. It's really cute and I actually bought two of them. One was an ivory color and this is the black one. And the ivory one sold a lot faster than this black one for who knows what reason. But still it sold and I'm really happy with that and it's off to its new home. This actually was very lightweight and pretty inexpensive to ship when it came down to it. This is an Anthropology Meadow Rue really boho loose fit long sleeve tunic top. The top was kind of sheer with the lace and I thought it was kind of cute. This I purchased from a yard sale for just a couple of dollars so I was glad to see it go for $25 plus $8 shipping in again that was due to my extended handling time. These Corky's flats I picked up on my Black Friday thrift haul. If you guys want to check that out, I'll link it here. And I picked up everything on that day for $2.40 each on average. So I was really happy to see these go for $22 plus $8 shipping, a nice round $30. And they did need to be cleaned up a little bit, but I just do that with some Allen Edmonds shoe polish. Super, super easy to do. And I have linked that in the description below if anyone's curious. Um, that's not an affiliate. I just really like using Allen Edmonds shoe polish. It's really high quality and it tends to get the nice crisp shine that I'm looking for. These Athleta Stealth True Cool 7-8 tights were from that Black Friday thrift haul as well, and they were only $2.40. They sold for $26 plus $8 shipping. It's always worth looking up for Athleta. Like, not everything is created equal, but if it is from a recent season, it will sell a lot better than something that's from even four or five years ago. So these were from a recent season. Um, they looked really cute in great condition, so I was really happy to see these go. These were pretty cool. This is, again, from that Black Friday thrift haul. These are some Zara gold pants and I want to say they're jeans but they're not because they're not jean like material. They were really unique. I actually don't pick up Zara very often. Um, it just does not command a great price for me unless it's like a more unique coat or already a higher dollar item. But these were super unique and considering I only got them for a couple bucks I figured let's 
I figured why not let's try it out and yeah they sold for 20 bucks plus eight dollar shipping which I was totally pleased with they didn't cost eight dollars to ship again this is from my extended handling this James purse top was actually returned so I sold it originally for I think 35 or 40 dollars it was returned because of fit and then it sold again for more money so I absolutely love doing that a tip about returns is please please process your returns as quickly as possible get them relisted get them back in your inventory because otherwise they can just pile up and become a nightmare to deal with so whenever i get something back that has been returned to me i do my best my due diligence to open it up look at it inspect it and put it back in my inventory and relist it as quickly as possible and that's one of the reasons that i have multi-quantity listings in my store so i can just go back to that listing i don't have to refresh or relist anything i just go back into the quantity change it from zero to one and then it keeps all the watchers the views the algorithm stays with that item so that's just a quick tip from me and also i beg of you don't make the same mistake i did once where i had a lululemon really nice rain jacket returned to me and i did not open it before i processed the return and the refund well when i opened it up it had just gashes all over it and it looked like somebody had just very recklessly cut open the package got into some of the sleeves and it was ruined and there was nothing i could do about it because i had already refunded the buyer i wanted to die so don't make my mistake ever since then i have always checked every single return to make sure it's in the same condition that it was already in when I sent it. So that horror story aside, this sold for $55 plus $5 shipping, which really made me happy. I love it when a return sells for a little bit more than it did originally. Helps me feel better like it was meant to be returned anyway. This vintage 60s USC Letterman jacket sold for $70 plus $8 shipping. This was in a little bit of rough condition probably because it's, it is old. I wiped down the leather, the leather sleeves with a magic eraser and that got rid of some of like the scuffs and marks on it. It's 50 to 60 years old so it's gonna have somewhere which I was fine with and honestly like I'm personally not a USC Trojans fan, so I was actually happy to see it go. I actually have a fun rivalry going on with some Instagram friends about that. But anyway, yeah, happy to see it go. $70 was great for me. I think I paid $10 for this over the summer. It did take me a while to list because sometimes when I have something that needs to be fixed or cleaned, I put it in a bin that's labeled too clean, too fix, whatever. And I don't always get to it as quickly as I should. So that's totally my bad. I should have gotten to this a lot sooner, but I pulled out that bin, decided to get to work sewing and cleaning some of the things that I needed to get fixed up so that I could sell them. And this was one of them. So glad to see it go. It sold pretty quickly actually for $78. These AG jeans sold for $28 plus $6 shipping. And AG is a brand that I really enjoy picking up, especially if I can get it for a dollar or two per pair. I don't know that I would pay up seven or eight dollars for it but i'm always safe usually getting it for one to two dollars and this was an instance where i got it for just a couple dollars it sold for 34 so totally happy with that again not all styles are created equal this is actually a very gentle boot cut which um might be coming back so i'm gonna risk selling a few more boot cut style jeans because this seemed to sell relatively quickly and for a good price so I'm always trying to shift and adjust and change as I go with my selling business. Okay, this, <laughs> this is like an embarrassing story, but whatever. This timeline game I bought for Amazon doing online arbitrage, like I wanna see you guys two years ago. So, not great. So when I got it though from my online arbitrage, I only ordered a few copies. Um, it sat in my office because Amazon restricted that brand for me and I didn't get ungated. So, it was sitting for a long time. Only recently have I gone through that bin, pulled things out, and decided to list them on eBay, and this game sold really fast. And I'm actually surprised that it sold for $40, because yes, it was a really good ROI for me. I think I bought it for 15, but they must have stopped making it or something, I don't know. Anyway, $40 plus $8 shipping, totally happy with that. This sold before the Christmas holiday and it arrived before the Christmas holiday, so I think that was a motivation for sure. Someone was probably getting it as a gift, but yeah, don't make my mistake. Ugh, I don't know why. Sometimes like for Amazon, if I don't know what to do with it or I have an item that I think will sell later, I just put it in a big bin 
and then I put it away and I don't think about it. So that's something that I'm going to be better about this year. Definitely a resolution to go through my bin more often and sort through that stuff and get it listed or get it donated or get it sold locally or whatever I need to do. So that's a goal of mine. Don't make my mistake. This Helmet Lang Moto Zip like asymmetrical sweater was a consignment sale and it sold for $55 plus $8 shipping, which I was totally thrilled with. Um, Helmet Lang tends to sell pretty decently for me. It's a really high-end designer brand, but because this was a more casual sweater look, um, I was really happy with $55. Um, so what I do is I split 50-50 after taxes and that's kind of how we do our consignment. So. Anyway, really happy to see this go. Vince is another brand um, that is really high end. Like when you search for it or you find it at Nordstrom, it's probably retails for $200, $300. They have really crazy prices. These jeans I found at the Black Friday sale for only $2.40. So I was really happy to see them go for $25 plus $8 shipping. And you might think to yourself, well, that's a lot lower than their sticker price. It is, but that is what I have found Vince commands. It really doesn't command as high of a resale price as some other things do. So I'm fine with that. I still like selling it. I just have to get it for the right price initially. This is that Lily Pulitzer You Gotta Regatta dress. This is another consignment that I showed in one of my videos and it sold for just what I thought it would, $35 plus $8 shipping, which I was thrilled with. So I hope the new owner is really happy and I always love it when I hit the nail on the head with the price I think it will fetch. So it's all about the small victories over here. This is another item in my inventory I was more than ready to see go, um, not because I didn't think it was cool, but because it is Oregon colors. So Oregon fans, I love you, Duck fans, you're great, but dang it, that game against the Utes, my team was rough. So I was a little salty and a little bitter, ready to see this go, but I'm really glad it sold for $40 plus $8 shipping. Um, yeah, I always pick up college sports team gear when I think it's unique and interesting. And this had the trefoil logo. It had an Oregon spell out on the back. So I thought it was a really, really unique piece. That's why I grabbed it. And same with the Trojans. I grabbed that because it was a vintage Letterman jacket. I thought it was cool. Uh, but yeah, I don't pick up college paraphernalia unless there is something unique about it. This is an Acris 100% cashmere skirt suit. It sold for $125 plus $8 shipping. And this is another consignment sale. Acris is a, another really high-end brand. I wouldn't be surprised if this suit originally retailed for $800 plus dollars. But I'm really ha happy to see it go for $125. It took a while to sell. Uh, I think it might have taken like eight or nine months. So. I sat on it for a while, but I was really happy with this offer and glad to take it. This is an example of when luxury brands sometimes take longer to sell for me than just your standard bread and butter brands. That's one of the reasons that I like to sell a mixture of each. These Ferragamo loafers, I actually have in my clean with me video, cleaning shoes with me, and I bought them for $3. They sold for $45 plus $8 shipping. And if you guys want to watch that video about how I cleaned them up and polished them up, I will link it right here. Um, super happy to see these sell. Uh, I thought they were really unique with the tassel loafers. I knew someone would want them and sure enough, someone did. So happy to see them go to their new home. This is a Lulu's Down in Kokomo dress. It was in really, really good pre-owned condition, perfectly crisp white, probably new without tags. And it sold for $25 plus $8 shipping. Lulu's I am kind of picky with. This was an embroidered dress and I thought it was really unique and had that lace detail in the front so I thought it was kind of cool and that's why I grabbed it. It was also just a few dollars so happy to see it go to its new home. Um, but Lulu's again I'm a little selective with unless it is unique or interesting or the right price. Okay Nike Golf. I love picking up Nike Golf. This is a full zip men's hoodie. It was an extra extra large which is really good. You want larger sizes for sure. This I believe I did pay six dollars for so I paid up a little bit more for this item but it was worth it because it sold for $29 plus $8 shipping. Nike, I am selective with. I like vintage Nike and I like newer Nike, men's Nike. One of the benefits of Nike is you can look on the tag and look up the style number and see exactly what it is called and what comps look like. So I did that for this hoodie and comps looked good, so that's why I grabbed it. This was a fun sale. This is again something that was in my I don't know what to do with these items bin that I was going through. I listed it that day. It's this Starbucks iridescent purple cup tumbler. And it didn't even have the straw. It wasn't even brand new, it was pre-owned. 
and I kind of thought, should I just re-donate this? Like, I didn't even know what to do with it. I didn't even know if it would sell. It was one of those purchases where I just grabbed it and thought, maybe this will sell. Sometimes I do that, you guys. I grab it, I buy it, and then I think to myself, why did I buy it? But for this Starbucks cup, I was really glad I did pick it up because it sold that day for $50 plus $8 shipping, my full price offer. So super thrilled with that. There are Starbucks cup and tumbler collectors, so I'm pretty sure that this went to one of them. These Kasubi, Subi, I'm probably saying that wrong, men's black suede leather lace-up boots sold for $50 plus $8 shipping. They're kind of goth and unique and they were in really um, cool condition. They were, I purchased these at a yard sale. They were with a bunch of Fry men's boots that were only $3 each. So these were only $3, and I didn't know the brand, but I grabbed them anyway. Comps looked very iffy. I think it's a more eclectic brand, but I sat on them for a little while, and they did finally sell to the right buyer for $50. So really happy with that. I'm glad they're off to their new home. This Free People hoodie I was sad to see go because I've worn it in a few of my videos, um, but I decided it was time to move on. It's really, really cute Moto Zip. It sold for $37 plus $6 shipping, so a really great turnaround for me. I believe I purchased this for $5 at the thrift store a long time ago. It's one of those things I brought home and thought, I'm gonna keep this for a while, and then I'll sell it later. So that's exactly what I did. This Judy and Burke purse was only $2 at a yard sale. It was really dusty, but I wiped it down, I polished it up, made it look shiny and kind of cute again, and it sold for $48 plus $10 shipping, which made me really happy. Vintage Judy and Burke sells great, especially if it has like the big duck logo on it. That's a win for sure. This had just a small duck logo, so I don't think it went for as much, but the larger the duck logo, the more vintage and crazy the print, the better. And last but not least, these Autophonics hearing amplifiers. These sold for $250 each. I had the left and the right, they were both brand new, and they sold to the same person. So that person spent over $500 on these hearing amplifiers, so I was totally thrilled with that. They were brand new. They have not been returned. On items like these that are new, I do not accept returns. So that is the one instance where I don't accept returns and I will fight on that because when they're this expensive and if you get them back and they're used, that is a no-no. So, and that definitely boosted up my sales that week. So I really hope the new owner loves those hearing amplifiers. All right guys, that does it for me. Thank you so much for watching. I seriously appreciate all of you and I'm amazed that anybody watches my videos other than my husband. Like I'm blown away every single time. So thank you so much. If you like videos like this and you want more of them, giving this video a thumbs up and leaving a comment down below is the best way to let me know. I will definitely create more content like this for you if it helps you, so just let me know. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like content like this and you want more of my videos to show up in your feed. I seriously appreciate it if you want reselling from my perspective. So thank you again, and as always, you guys, I will catch you next time. Take care.